Welcome to another episode of IX Cape Town TV. I'm your host, Chanel Poulsa, and in today's show, we catch up with ex Fana player, now youth coach at IX Cape Town, David Kennemeyer. We catch up with our recently signed first team players, Jagen Sazman and Ziyad Ekstein, and we also catch up with our youth team manager, Alton. But first up, we have some fun with some of our PSL players, um, Noah Sadoi, Tabisa Nakona, and Patti Sakolo. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Clifford Mlenga and welcome to Axe TV. Um, today we have uh, a special for you. Uh, we got uh, some new kids on the block, uh, new kids in Axe uh, Cape Town. Uh, starting on my left, we have um, uh, Mr. Ntabiso Nkawana from uh, Super Sport uh, United, uh, now with Axe. How, how are you, sir? I'm good and you? I'm very well, thanks. Um, well, you on Axe uh, Cape Town TV today and uh, the fans would like to know uh, a bit about you. Would you please tell us who you are and um, what you're all about? Uh, my name is Tabiso, my son name is Nkwana. I'm from Atridville. Uh My previous club is Super Sport. So I'm here to play for Ajax and make sure that we, we work as a team and achieve something at the end. Next in line we have uh, Noah Sadawi. Uh, all I know is that you Arab and you're from Morocco. Uh, I went to America when I was 10 years old. Um, I would consider myself fun, you know, outgoing. Uh, we should share some of the things that we do at home. I wanted to ask him really though, uh, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 22. Uh, I mean, it's kind of obvious. I'm just trying to work hard. Um, my papers just came and uh, I mean, the team is doing well. So I just got to push myself. Um, I mean, for obviously the team goal, I want to be like, obviously in the top five. Um, I just want to help the team win. That's all I think about. What about Noah? Uh, should uh, you know people South Africa look for? What, what what do you have to offer South African football and uh, ask Cape Town? Uh, to be honest, um, I mean I still haven't played yet. I'm uh, inexperienced in this league. Um, basically, hopefully I can give some assists and goals when I come into play. As far as Noah is concerned, he came on trial with us just also by accident. He's a Moroccan that went to live in America, in the United States. He's, he's played uh, in Israel and a few other countries. And also a very good athlete, uh, and that's what we're looking at. Uh, he's also young and uh, he needs a bit of work, we know that. But I think he's got a lot of potential, and uh, being an athlete and a, a super athlete that he is, uh, we can get him right. What, no, what is it about you that you want to do this season? Uh, for the season, uh, I, I would like to see our team being in the top five and achieving one of the South African Cups and and playing as, as many games as I can and doing the best for the team and and always having a positive mind. Yeah, Tabiso, Tabiso we knew about him because he was at Supersport and then he was offered to us on a loan with an option to buy so we were a little bit short in that department so we decided to have a look at him and I must say the first day was yeah, it didn't impress us at all. But soon after that, he started doing things that uh, caught our eye and, and our attention. And I think he's been a great addition to our team already. Uh, scoring vital goals, he's got a very good attitude. He's a young boy that likes to score. He's also very versatile. He can play in a few different uh, positions. And uh, I, I think he'll probably stay with us. Um, he loves it here. And he's a, he's a good one, young and uh, a lot of potential. Last I've got... Um... <laughs> Patty Sikolo or Patylicious. Uh, you can just see general, 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 general. by the by the many uh, tattoos on his hand and uh, the hairstyle. Um, do you still, uh, Patty? Please tell us about yourself. Um, hi, I'm Patty Sakolo. I was born in Johannesburg, grew up in Sandton. I moved to the States when I was 18. No pressure, gents. Um, I then uh, moved and began my career in Sweden. I really enjoyed it there, learned a lot, and um, I'm happy to be at Ajax. Fantastic club, beautiful city, beautiful people, and uh, I look forward to this challenge after I come back from my injury, of course. Well, Paddy, um, I've known you for the last uh, one month, and you seem to be a very interesting, um, charming character, you know? Um, first and foremost, I, you look like your hair is a very important part of you. Like, tell us about your hairstyle, and you always have a hair, you know, a comb in your pocket. Can you tell us about that, please? Well, I mean, look, we're all different. Um, 
I had options, I didn't want it short, so I wasn't going to braid it because that's been done before. So I thought I'd do something that no one's done. Obviously, as a black guy. I used to do that 10 years ago. So. What if? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Why so Cliff's done God. it. I'm going to have to shave it off sometime in the near future because Cliff's done it already. Well, I just turned 23. Ambitions wise, my goal is to always win the next game. I don't think too far ahead about league championships, cups, all that. I feel if you aim to win the next game, at the end of the season, you'll definitely win something. Okay. Um, the work rate I put in a training is the same every single day. I don't prepare less or more for <coughs> any game, small or big. Um, the trainers, the physios are always dragging me off because I always like to stay after and do extra. That's how I am. That's how I've been. That's how I was when I was in America and Sweden. And that's not going to change. So obviously in the future, it's no secret. I want to go back to Europe. Welcome back. We caught up with Alton, who is the kit manager for the youth teams at Ajax Cape Town. Let's go have a look at what he does. Welcome to Ajax Cape Town storeroom. You can come in, guys. Welcome. Uh, you want to take you around? Uh, as you can see here, yeah, we've got this, this new shelf that, that has just been put up. And this, from this up until here, yeah, this is a BSL and Young Ajax Technical. This, this, this clothing is for the coaches of the, of the BSL and the Young Ajax. And then this one here yeah, is for the youth technical for, for, for the coming season. Their season starts next year, that is in, in January. And then this, this side here, yeah, is the, the 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 home and away jerseys? So this is the the, the home jersey uh, of Ajax Cape Town. Uh, this is our away jersey. This shelf here is the youth shelf. Is their clothing? And this year is the goalkeeper uh, shorts. Home, when they're playing at home, they wear this color. And then here. When they're playing away, they wear this color. And this is their uh, goalkeeper jerseys. I'll show you. Uh, this is a, a short sleeve a, a jersey. They also got exactly the same color in a long sleeve. This boot is called a uh, Copper Mandel. The coaches, they like this boot very much. They don't want to use anything but this boot. Uh, so this boot has been ordered strictly for the coaches. And get this pink one here. Ah. Okay, it's called F50. Players, they like this very much because it's, it's actually light, you know. Today we sit with not only a long-lasting fan of the Urban Warriors, but also kit man of our youth team at Ajax Cape Town, Alton. Alton, welcome to Ajax Cape Town TV. Tell us more about what do you do here at Ikamva? Okay, thank you, Shannon. Um, my daily routine um, is to make sure that uh, all the youth, when they come to training, they are training, uh, a kit is ready. Mm -hmm. uh, even when they come to play the matches, I make sure that their match, match kit home and away is ready. As you can see now around here, mm -hmm. uh, this is prepared already. Uh, for for afternoon and you know I always do this in the morning when I come in okay. yeah because so yeah because I, I, I want to make sure that is is done properly like this way you know okay. yeah so you prepare the training kit for um, training sessions but also match games yes yes for for match for match games also like uh, uh, they play all the matches on on Saturday sometimes some sometimes uh, uh, during the the course of the week but I I make sure that they've got their kit ready. Okay, can you tell us more about what your day to day activities are like? Wow, it's, uh, they like in the morning when I come yeah. in. Yeah. I open each and every change room okay. and uh, remove whatever kit that is there. 
and, and wash it and prepare it for the, the, the next uh, uh, session, mm -hmm. you know, or, or when they come in is, is ready, okay. you know. And I also uh, uh, work in the store there, you know, as, as I've shown you before, you know, what, I, what I'm doing there. Okay. Um, how long have you been working at IX Cape Town? Wow. Uh, started a very uh, a long way back, uh, 2001. Uh, that was when I started wow. working for Ajax Cape Town. Okay. That's a very long time. That's 17, 16 years. Very long, <laughs> very long time, yes. Do you work closely with Mr. Albert Hendricks, who is the kit man of the PSL team? I would say, you know, we, we work very closely with, with Mr. A, you know. He, he's my father, he's my friend, you know, he's my colleague. Uh, we work very closely, we understand one another, you know, and uh, sometimes I'm even his substitute when, okay. when, when the teams, when the first team is playing away, okay. I look after the guys that stay behind, yeah. Um, which players are you very close with as the, in the youth team and also in the PSL team? Uh, you know, I won't specifically say uh, uh, which one, but I work close with all of them, but uh, youth is my department, yes. The, 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 the PSL one, uh, I work with them because uh, they have to come to me when they need anything, you know. <laughs> You're also a hardcore Urban Warrior fan. Um, why is that? Uh, except working for Ajax, uh, I, I'm a big supporter uh, of Ajax Cape Town and I think uh, I, I'm, I would say I'm a warrior because I travel when they play in Deben or whatever, I travel with the other supporters, you know. Just now we were, we were in PE when we were playing cheaper. So to show you that really uh, I am a, a, a warrior. Um, the team has been undefeated um, and we play free state stars on the weekend. What's your score predictions? Well, they are going to get a hiding. <laughs> uh, the, the hiding would be 3 1 because uh, uh, this season we're really going for the league. Okay. Alton, thank you so much for joining IX Cape Town TV. We wish you all the best for the future. Next up, we get to chat to Corne Groenendijk, who is the Head of Youth Development at IX Cape Town. And he shares with us a little bit more about how these youth players juggle passing exams at school and playing top flight football. Let's hear what he has to say. Yeah, of course, we, the people from the Youth Academy, are very proud that we have so many graduates from the Youth Academy into the PSL. Yeah, makes us feel happy. Yeah, Jägen has signed his professional contract, but he's not joining the first team yet. Eh? So we have to remember that we also value the schoolwork a bit, uh, quite a bit. We find it very important to have um, well-schooled football players. So he's finishing his matric. And when he finishes his matric in November, then he can join the first team. And they know they have to finish school, not only to build a future after football, but also to be able to put their mind into their football career and uh, they're both juggling it quite well. We have individual programs for both of them, so we make programs on the week. So they train when they are available and when they have tests, we work around that. So I do hope that every year we'll have some players coming through. I must say that in the last two years, the players that have been coming through are younger and younger. So the generation of uh, Rivaldo and Travis and Musa and all those guys coming through, they're getting younger and younger, so it will also take some time for them to settle in. So I think Ziggy and Jägen, uh, the, in, the, in the running season, they will get some game time. I hope they can make it into that. And then from the next season, the guys finishing school then, I hope we can have some new players coming through. Yes.
it won't take, take very long to introduce him, I think uh, two years ago. Um, he was uh, on, a, on a good level, but now I think he's on a, on a big, 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 big level where um, actually I think uh, he's staying a good chance in making it uh, soon to, into the PSL squad. Uh, hopefully he'll get his chance uh, to play in the first team soon. And I'm sure that uh, one day he'll make it big time in Europe. I think over the past two years he taught me a lot because he's also a left back himself and I think over the two years I learned very, very much from him and he taught me everything I know today and it has definitely made me a much better player. Well, it was a different experience playing in Amsterdam, playing with the world's best youth, but I think Ice Cape Town had more team spirit definitely and the world they will to win and that's how they achieved it when they won Ajax Amsterdam when I was playing with them and I think that they were the coach coach David himself was against me Rivaldo and I because we were playing for the opposing team but I think I learned a lot and it was a good experience playing for another team for Ajax Amsterdam which, which is my dream club I want to play for in the future. Yeah, I think uh, for Jagen it's very very much easy you don't get the uh, such young players as his age with his talent, he's got unbelievable talent um, and especially because he's a left footer you don't get too many players in the world, defenders uh, and I think um, my biggest uh, surprise was when Jagen stood out in, in Europe you know and it's not easy for any uh, 16 year old to go to Europe especially when you're from Africa and go and shine there so uh, I think that was a huge bonus for him and he can only look forward from now. Every day is a memorable moment with Coach David because every day I learn new things from him and what, what my, I will always remember him because I want everything with him and through his experience he taught me everything I know about football and outside football attitude wise also. So actually every day is a memorable moment for me and I value every day. I think I just we just spoke briefly about it now. I think uh, if he puts his mark uh, within our, our PSL team, uh, the quicker he plays there, I think uh, within the next year or so he should he should be playing in the in the final national team, um, which I think is is, is is big enough. His professionalism is also it's on the field and off the field is very it's unique. You don't seldom find it with Cape Townian players. Um, so I think soon he should be in the national team. I think there really isn't pressure on me, it's just that it's my ambition to become, to become a professional footballer, to make it to the top into Europe and to expose myself. So I think that my coaches, my family, I think they are just there to support me and their support is definitely making my ambition come through and my dreams come through that, so I know like my goals in life and I know that I will achieve them if they help me. Especially David. Most of all, uh, for, for a young player, um, you must, you must de be dedicated, uh, enjoy the football, and uh, most of all, um, be yourself. Yeah. So yeah, um, I grew up in, in Salt River. I've um, been living there for the past 13 years. And I've been at Ajax since under 11, at the age of 10. So yeah, I'm um, the first team now, um, trying to work my way into the, into the team. Started since the age of, of five. So she used to go to the field, kick some balls, my cousins, my father, until I started um, taking it more seriously, playing, started joining up with the, with the younger boys there, playing around there until I played a tournament in, in Weinberg. And I think that's where Ajax spotted me. They invited me to come for trials here at the club. And I came for a few trials, went through to the next round, and I ended up being selected as one of the boys to, to join up with the Ajax team. Yeah, um, Europe's, Europe's always a beautiful place to go. 
um, beautiful places to, to see. But I think we went there for, for football reasons. And I think we competed well in the, in the games we played, the uh, matches. Um, things are it's a bit tough over there. Um, physically, physically stronger, but I think yeah, players at Ajax know what it, what it takes to, to make it over there. It's an amazing feeling being promoted to the first team, seeing that I was here since a, a junior. It's always been my goal and objective to make it in the first team at Ajax. And now that I'm there, I think um, I need to do, I need to work extra hard into getting into the team, getting into the starting eleven. And I know it'll take some time for me to adapt, so I'm working hard into getting there. Many people don't know that we had an agreement for me to finish school first and the coach know, bosses all know that I need to finish school in order to, to play again first team and they've given me some time off to focus on my studies and I'm just you know, focusing, trying to get, um, get it done so that I can start playing again. Okay. And that's a wrap for another episode of Ajax Cape Town TV. Please share your thoughts and opinions with us as we love to hear from you guys. And you can contact us on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Ajax Cape Town or on Twitter at Ajax Cape Town. Please don't forget to get behind our boys as they face free state stars this upcoming weekend at Athlone Stadium. Get yourselves prepared by purchasing tickets at CompuTicket and even your Ajax gear at the Comfort Fan Store in Paddo. Guys, have yourselves a fantastic soccer weekend and I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Bye bye. Thank you, Alia Schut, for your nomination of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Everybody has to do it, so I will do it as well. Um, with the Table Mountain, one of the seven world wonders in the back, I hope this works wonders for the ALS uh, donations. Everybody hopefully donates millions and uh, kicks out this terrible disease. Go ahead.